Courtney Jordan is not only tonight's winner of our Female Achievement Award, but a few weeks ago, Courtney graduated from Loyola University in Maryland with Masters in Elementary Education. Please welcome to the stage the 2016 Pop Warner Female Achievement Award winner, Miss Courtney Jordan. degree but I break awards as soon as I get them that's good <laughs> okay um, oh my gosh as you could probably see from the video I'm a very emotional person I like cry all the time but like happy tears so I'm gonna do my best not to cry and if I do it's just because I'm really really happy to be here and I can't believe I'm here <laughs> I honestly don't know why I'm here because I feel like this is all football and um, dancing and I can't throw a football to save my life and you don't want to see me dance so um, <laughs> but I'm really really happy to be here um, as as Courtney just said that sounds weird because it's Courtney too <laughs> um, as Courtney just said um, I just graduated with my master's degree um, in teaching and so it's been a kind of a whirlwind of week <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> um, it's been kind of a whirlwind week for me, but I'm very happy to be here with you guys. Um, let's just, congratulations to all of you, because all of you guys that are here tonight have um, succeeded in athletics and academics, and I know from personal experience it's very, very hard to do both. So congrats to all of you guys here. <laughs> And I just want to say thank you to all the parents who are here. Um, my grandma's here tonight, and I'm really excited she's here with me. But um, congrats to the parents who are here, too, because you guys are doing a great job. And I know what it takes. From personal experience, my mom shuttled me to a million practices and different events. And so congrats to you guys, too, because all the hard work that you're putting in, in is making a difference in your child's life. So great job to you, too. <laughs> Um, so, I guess I am here because of my athletic and academic achievements, um, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about my story. Um, I am a Paralympian, so for those of you who don't know what the Paralympics are, it's the Olympics for people with physical disabilities. So, um, my disability is cerebral palsy, my left side is um, par partially paralyzed. And so I spent a lot of time when I was younger learning how to walk. And um, luckily, I was born into the perfect family. My um, grandfather was one of the founders of the Swimming Hall of Fame in Florida. And um, my dad was a state champion swimmer. My sister was a state champion swimmer. So I didn't really have a choice. They kind of just threw me in the water. <laughs> and um, it really worked. Um, I got a lot of mobility and movement and strength and confidence in my body from sport. And so that's why I love going to these events and celebrating sports and athletics because um, it really gives you confidence in who you are. And um, furthermore, um, I didn't have confidence in who I was until I started with Paralympics. Um, when I was 15, I made the national um, swim meet. And when I was 15, I also made the world championship swim team. And I've kind of been in it ever since. It's been a, a whirlwind um, ride. But I wanted to share a few things that I've, I've learned along the way. Um, the first thing I want to um, share with you guys, I know you're all very successful that you're here. You've shown that you can um, balance academics and athletics. And it, that's an amazing achievement. I just want to remind you that sometimes it's going to get hard. Um, you're going to be writing a paper, and you have practice really early in the morning. And it's going to seem like really annoying. <laughs> and you're going to want to go to sleep but it's gonna be worth it in the end. Um, remember why you started, remember the love of the sport, and because I think that sometimes when you get to a certain level, it's hard to remember why you started in the first place. So always keep that in mind. Um, 
Also, I want to remind you guys that failure isn't permanent. Failure, I have failed so many times, <laughs> I can't even count. But um, it's helped me get to where I am. If you use that failure, all of you guys are in here because you're um, successful academically. So you can use the failure, think about it, analyze it, and recognize how to make it better and how to succeed in the future. Um, and the last piece of advice I wanted to um, leave with you guys is just to be kind. Um, I know that when I was in London, I don't remember the times that I went. I don't, I won medals. I don't remember the times that I swam to get those medals. But I do remember my roommate coming up and hugging me before, um, when I won my gold medal. And I remember um, all my teammates and my coaches cheering for me. I remember my friend hugging me in the village as soon as I get back. Those are the moments that you're gonna remember way after your athletic career. And those are the moments that are gonna stick with you. So just make sure that after your career, or during your career, you're being as kind and as thoughtful as possible, because that's gonna last way longer when your whole life, you know? So um, thank you. And um, did I break it for real? Did someone fix that? <laughs> okay, bye, have a good night, thank you.